Chat today's Crunch Time players brought to you by Cheez It. Coach Prime has Colorado on a bit of a roll. They've won four of their last five and have a big home game tonight against Cincinnati. The Buffs have a chance to become bowl eligible for the first time since 2016 with a win. HD, what have you seen from Shador in Colorado's offense this season? Listen, Shador, number one, he has the clutch gene in the system. He's the son of Deion Sanders. Prime time. There's a reason why he's so clutch when it comes to certain moments in ball games. But the way he maneuvers the pocket, he can make every single throw on the football field. But I like his assertiveness and his aggressiveness towards his teammates. Yep. Right? You've seen it with him and uh, Travis Hunter, right? Hey, I threw you a fade. You didn't catch it. Travis Hunter told him to throw him another one. He's like, well, catch the first one. And then you've seen last week uh, a little conversation between him and his wide receiver. Hey, can you get open on a go route? I think I can. No. Can you get open or not? Right. I like that assertiveness from the quarterback position. Uh, most guys that I played for, that's how they were. And you got to be demanding from that position if you're going to have success in college, but also at the NFL level. They're different over there. Uh, Travis Hunter, Coach Prime said he's feeling better, yeah. much better. And how uh, much of an impact will he make on this game? And what side of the ball will he be needed more? You know, I I feel like both, which feels like cheating. <laughs> but, like, I, I would argue, though, and, I mean, I guess you could say he's 1A, 1B with Shador on offense. But I just feel like he's the most, he's the best player on both sides of the football for them when he's on the field. But that said, I do think, H, you talked about the defense earlier earlier, I think he adds more to that side of the ball and hides a lot of more of the their shortcomings on, on that end than he does offensively because I think Shador does a pretty good job of doing that himself and they have other talented, skilled players, but to me, I think on the defensive end is where they really need him. I'm selfish. Okay. I want to see him on offense. I want to see him on defense. And hell, if he can go over there and play special teams, I want right. to see him on special teams. <laughs> like, it's not every day, y'all, we get to see an extreme talent like yeah. Travis Hunter. Right? I think the last one was what Chris Gamble, Champ yeah. Bailey, those guys. Yeah. So when you have a guy that's as talented as Travis Hunter, you go up, go out there and let him play. He does a great job of taking care of his body. He's in shape. He's a, a premier player. He's a guy that could be taken number one overall if the team that's sitting there don't need a quarterback. So you let him play um, where he can help you the most, and I think that's both sides of the ball for Colorado. So you mentioned the defense and how you want him to play equally on both sides of the ball, but their defense has been pretty impressive this year. How have they been able to turn things around? To me, it looks like a lot of fundamentals, to be honest with you. I mean, like, I, look, schematically speaking, I'm not the, the biggest brain in the room, okay? Like, we just be real. But I know when I see good tackling, I know when I see good energy, and it feels like that has been up for this Colorado team. And this is a team, you know, we talk a lot about Travis Hunter, and we talk a lot about Shador Sanders. There's 20 other guys yeah. on, on, on both sides of the football here that have to go out there and represent the University of Colorado. So so, to me, I, I think that you've seen a different confidence about this team, especially as the season has progressed. And I think they shook a lot of that AC after that Nebraska game. Well, let me make it simple for everybody. See ball, get ball. Yeah. <laughs> same foot, same shoulder when you're tackling. Yeah. We don't need guys to be a hero and do spectacular things. Just do your damn job. And I think that's what we're seeing from Colorado this season compared to what we've seen in 2023. You got to stay late, up late for that one at 10.15 right, tonight on ESPN.